Welcome back to Web Cafe AI. We do daily ChatGPT and AI videos for your personal and business life. In today's video, we're going to be tackling SMS by Zapier and essentially seeing how Zapier and AI integrates with this. As you know, this is part of our playlist where we are tackling all 5,000 apps found on Zapier and seeing how AI can integrate with every single one. Today's video is going to be focused on SMS. So we're going to go ahead and create a new Zapier and we're going to go ahead and name that Zap the SMS Zap. We are to name, we're gonna do SMS by Zapier. Essentially what we plan on doing in today's video is we're gonna create a Zap that essentially when Zapier status tweets out that there is an issue with their backend, we're gonna go ahead and send that straight to a SMS text and use ChatGPT in order to summarize whatever the error may be occurring. Now to give more context, this is the Zapier status account. And the purpose of this tutorial is that if a lot of your business is run on the back end of Zapier, you want to know right away when there could be an issue that's incurring. Therefore, let's send a text directly to your phone when something may be happening, you know, bad in the back end for Zapier. Let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to go ahead and copy the handle here by Zapier. And we're going to do our first step here, which is going to be from Twitter. And we're going to make it so that the event is when a user tweets. More specifically, the user that we care about is going to be Zapier status. In this context, we're going to continue here. We're going to go ahead and test this trigger. And this should bring up some sample data that we can start using. Perfect. We're going to say continue with selected record. And then for our next step here, let's go to do a chat GPT block. And for our chat GPT block, we'll do conversation. Continue, continue. I'm going to say based off this Zapier status tweet. We want to give context here, semicolon parentheses, and we're going to do the text here. What issue is occurring with Zapier? This could obviously be run with uh, GPT 3.5, but I'm going to go ahead and up my model here as this requires a little bit more comprehension. But in theory, you could do uh, 3.5 in this context as well. I'm going to go ahead and continue here. And then let's go ahead and test that action. All right, so we went ahead and grabbed the tweet and we process it into more layman language here. And we got the Zapier is experiencing issues caused by the widespread AWS outage. This outage is affecting Zap processing and the availability of portions of their website. They have mentioned that some Zaps are belonging or beginning to process again, but the investigation is still ongoing. Obviously, within our underlying prompt we just created here, we can add more context here. We could say, look for you know time estimates. Let me know when the tweet had occurred. Let me know, you know, a bunch of stuff. But for now, that should be sufficient for what we're trying to do here. So now we got a general idea that, hey, there is a zap outage. Let's go ahead and send that to our phone. So we're going to go ahead and do an add new step here. We can do SMS by Zapier. We do the event of send SMS. I hide that, but essentially Zapier does provide their own custom number that's going to be directed for you, which will be forwarded to, you know, your personal number in that context. You get to choose the number in which the text will be coming from. So if you want to remain consistency and actually save it into your context, I would suggest choosing a very specific number here rather than a random number here. But for the purposes of this, I can just go ahead and put random and the message. I can go ahead and put the assistant response message that we just created earlier. And then let's go ahead and add some fixed text here and just say zap issue semicolon and then Essentially, it will go ahead and put in whatever the sum summarization of the previous tweet was with some comprehension using GPT-4. But now, essentially, every single time there is a Zapier outage, you'll get a text instantly set to your phone and you'll be notified that, oh, I need to notify my clients. I need to uh, you know, do X, Y, Z now as a manual thing because of the fact that Zapier isn't running this task anymore. This is a great tool to use as you'll be notified directly and right away when an issue arises. If you feel like you learned something, make sure to like the video. It's completely free and it helps us here at Web Cafe AI. If you want to learn more about AI and automation and how to leverage Zapier when it comes to ChatGPT, check out the playlist at the end of this video as we're diving into all 5,000 apps found on Zapier's backend and seeing how we can integrate AI with every single one. But without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And yes, surprise, I'm an AI avatar. Make sure to explore more here at Web Cafe, where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.